Hey, I'm Joe Bjorn from Staten Island Tech, and please enjoy this lesson showcase on walkthroughs in Revit architecture using Enscape. I think it's time to blow this thing, get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Greetings and welcome to a snapshot of my computer aided design or CAD class. This is a lesson on creating a virtual walkthrough in Autodesk Revit using a plugin called Enscape 3D. Enscape 3D creates a real-time, interactive virtual environment of a Revit CAD file that allows students to see what their project looks like from any point of view during the design process. Ultimately, it's also used to provide a user the ability to have an interactive or scripted experience in the environment that is so realistic at times that it fools the mind. Users could be students, design professionals, or clients of those professionals and view the material on any computer with or without a VR headset. What you're seeing now is a scripted walk around the grounds of a fictional art gallery in a tranquil, natural environment at various times of the day. The journey includes a human point of view as well as that of a curious bird enjoying the air. This is the final lesson in a unit that guides students in creating a structure from scratch that includes a multi-story building starting at a subterranean level. For the first time, they'll be creating a topography to host the structure and have a hand at molding the environment to simulate any aspect of nature or man-made area that they choose. They will be showing floor plans, a site plan, and measurements in two dimensions. Three-dimensional views from eight plus cameras, as well as the walkthrough, accompany the plan views for a final work product. Students will demonstrate 21st century skills using CAD to do 2D design, drafting and dimensioning, 3D modeling, and finally, creating a VR fully interactive environment for display on the web or offline. They will be able to express their design ideas tremendously in ways they had no experience with just a few months ago. This type of learning not only prepares them to better process large-scale problems requiring real multidisciplinary STEAM knowledge. They will have real-world experience in understanding the functional and aesthetic design of structures to be occupied for residency, educational, industrial, or commercial needs. They will, of course, also use this in planning their own home design when they reach that stage of life. As part of Staten Island Tech's Backpacks to Briefcases program, prominent Staten Island architect David Bussinelli was invited to speak to the classes. Mr. Bussinelli arrived shortly after our Revit Architecture and Building Information Management, or BIM, unit began in order to speak to the students on the day-to-day -day activities of being an architect, as well as the importance of communication. Any designer must be skilled at using 21st century skills in order to properly present their idea in order to finish a project, promote their personal brand, and prosper from it. We also discussed what it is like to collaborate with surrounding businesses, construction companies and contractors, lawyers, and especially community leaders. Mr. Brusinelli's insight was very eye-opening for myself and the students. He designed parts of educational and religious facilities, which are two things that require a lot of careful decision-making. David also emphasized the importance of proper documentation, another aspect of solid communication and collaboration. He also discussed how clear measurements following industry standards, presented in a package that everyone feels comfortable interpreting, can really help you. Thank you, David, for visiting our CAD class. I opened the walkthrough lesson by showing the art gallery scripted walkthrough. I explained to the students that while they use creative design skills in making a structure, they also need to be creative in immersing themselves digitally into the virtual environment to tell the story that is in their vision of the site. We discussed three important steps in creating a walkthrough. First, to move through the environment in an interactive mode and set keyframes or important points to create a path for the cameras to follow for the user. Secondly, the designer needs to enter camera mode for each of the keyframes and properly set the focus of the frame, time of day of the shot, and to be sure that one keyframe flows nicely to the next, mimicking human exploration. Lastly, the designer sets a time in which each keyframe 
takes place in order to show the camera slowly walking in a curious manner or blissfully flying around like a superhero for some great aerial views. I used a quick tour I created in a model of a fictional renovation of Staten Island Tech to show them how tweaking the point of view, timing, and daylight of each keyframe camera polishes the walkthrough to a professional shine. The students were given the file to test out the controls and to be able to preview their own version of the tour of the new virtual Staten Island Tech. They quickly brought to life their own versions of the vision and were now ready to show off their own luxury home design. It's very realistic, the, the lighting, the shadows, all that, it kind of plays a big role into putting the whole thing together. And when I look at it, it looks much better than it would if it were in the regular floor plan mode. And I can better see what colors will look good, how the house comes together with all the furniture and all that. So using Revit with Enscape, um, it allows me to see what the project would actually look like if it was built in real life. And it allows me to get a feel for um, how it would actually be used and what the spaces feel like and whether I should make a space bigger, whether it's too big or whether it should be small or anything like that. In retrospect, I want to establish a window of time for the students to present their projects to the class in a limited fashion. This will allow them to inspire each other and think critically in order to tell the story of their design. All of this within a rigid set of parameters and a very short timetable. It will add a natural, additional facet to the CAD class. Look for more video features of the CAD class on social media and thank you for watching this presentation.